Hey guys, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is something that I hinted at in my last video, which was going on the Hamster Hideout Forum. And in that video, I mentioned that I had actually gone on Amazon that day and ordered a few things for the hammies off of there because I had no idea what to film at the time. And I was like, you know what? I haven't ordered anything for them in a while. I haven't done a hamster unboxing in a while. And I just wanted to do one. I also just wanted to get some new natural items for the cages because I always, in my reacting to your guys' hamster cage videos, I'm always saying, you know, maybe you can put in some more natural items, maybe you can add this, maybe you can add that. And I was like, you know what, maybe I should just buy this for myself. And later, hopefully at some point in the future, I will be doing a reacting to my own hamster cage video where I kind of critique myself in a way. So back to this video, I got the package. It is so big and I only ordered t two things technically, but in each of them, there is going to be two things. So in total, there's going to be four items. Let's just go ahead and unbox this. I'm very excited for you guys to see what I got. I'm going to try to angle the camera down a little bit so you guys can hopefully see me unbox it. And yes, I am using tiny little child scissors for this because they'll work. They'll work. Not, probably not the best thing to use, but it'll work. Open this pod up. Moment of truth. I don't even know if everything I ordered is in here, so we'll just have to see, because the box is like not even full. Here it is. Okay, so excited. How do I open this thing? It's like bubble wrapped so much. Okay, all right, Loki's so excited. It's quite dirty though. I have to tap off a bit of this dirt. So this is the first thing that I got. I got two of them and it is a cork flat. And so it obviously is typically meant for reptiles, but I thought that this would be really good as just like a little thing I could either put in the bedding as like a burrow area or just add into the cage that they could climb on. I really like the texture and I'm always talking about like trying to incorporate new textures into your hamster cage. So I wanted to get one of these, or should I say two of them. There's definitely a little bit of dirt coming off of them, so I don't want that to get everywhere. But this one I'm really excited for because it's quite a bit bigger. So then we have this one, which this one I was really liking because it literally has like a cave almost. And I feel like if I put this in the bedding and like put bedding on top of it, it would be such a cool, like, natural burrow. I just think it would add so much natural vibes to the cage. It would be absolutely perfect. These are both from Zoo Med. Uh, again, I just ordered them on Amazon. I will put the link down below. I am super psyched about this. So I guess that we do not have both of the items that I ordered because I did order one more item. So I will just have to wait on that and see when that is going to arrive. All right guys, so it is later that exact same day and I just got the next package. Luckily it arrived super quick. I was not expecting to finish this video today, but that's actually really good because I was planning on cleaning both of the hammy cages tonight. So I wanna have their new stuff that I can put in their cages. Aww, you guys look, there's like these little like cutouts you can make. It's like a little dragonfly and it says more than a box. Very cute. Okay, so this one came in a little plastic bag. Let's just cut this puppy open. Normally I do like to save the packaging, but since like there's really no way I'm gonna get into this without destroying it, might as well just cut, cut it up. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, this is, I was, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna take this out of the bubble wrap. So I'll put up 
right on the screen what this is called, but I ordered it and I wanted some more driftwood, some more naturalistic pieces. I actually went on Instagram and I was looking at some really cute and just amazing hamster cages that people have put together and a lot of them have these wood types and I do have one piece of wood that looks semi-similar to this that you guys have probably seen in several of my videos, but I wanted to get a couple more just to decorate the cages, something the hammies can climb on, something that I can hide treats in, and I love them. They're so unique and good. And then the next one looks like this, which is so, this is gonna be so good for the cage. Like this is gonna be great that I can like put like something here and they could climb onto it, they can burrow under it. This is what the underside looks like. This is just gonna be absolutely perfect. Like I could even like put the food dish on here if I wanted to. I love. So combining these two with the two driftwood pieces that I just got. I'm so ready, I'm so ready. My hamster cages are gonna look so good after this. I will come back in this video tonight once I am ready to clean the cages. I'll clean them out and I will just show you guys how I incorporate these new pieces into my hamster cage. So let's go. Hey guys, so it has been a few days since I filmed the first part of this video and I cleaned out the cage and I just wanted to show you guys how I kind of incorporated these natural into the cage and how the hammies seem to be liking them. So personally, I think that the hammies seem to enjoy them. You know, there's not like, it's not like a toy that your hamster can really like go on. I mean, your hamster is going to be able to climb on it and get the texture and the feeling, but it's not like you're going to be able to necessarily like say definitively if your hamster likes it or not. There is that, but I just really like the vibe that it gives. Very natural, like a forest almost. So I think if I do get more of these in the future, you know, it'll just make it look even better. And this is the cork and then I think this is the driftwood. And then I'm going to be showing you guys what I did in Chandler's cage. Hello, Mr. Chandler boy. Oh my goodness, that was so cute. So cute. They're the cutest. Okay, so over here we have the big cork. So this is a piece of cork that I already got a while back. And I just love incorporating it into the cage. And then... Over here, we have another piece of driftwood that I just put over here to kind of corral the bedding. Um, and then this is actually another piece of the driftwood. And I really wanted Chandler to use this as his hiding spot, his burrow area, his cave. So I actually like, I want him to be able to crawl in there and use it as his like burrowing area, but I don't think he's really figured that out yet. And so he's just been deciding to sleep over here which i don't understand because i've given him like a lot of bedding over here i don't get why he's not using it um so i might have to oh my gosh oh my goodness so cute so i'm i might have to rearrange the cage a bit just to make sure that he's getting enough bedding to burrow because he doesn't seem to want to burrow where i have planned for him to be able to burrow so that's kind of what i did with these cages um, I will try to pop up some pictures of some really good hamster cages that you guys can take inspiration from, that I take inspiration from, that I just find on Instagram. Um, Instagram is a great place to get cage inspiration and to see what other people are doing with their cages. Um, and honestly, influence yourself and influence how you care for your hamsters. Again, just thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you guys who gave me hamster video suggestions on my Instagram when I asked a few days ago, and I will definitely be trying to do a couple of those videos that you guys commented. And if you do want to follow my hamster Instagram, it will be on the screen. And without further ado, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!